Greetings my dear endwalkers of light and darkness. Today I want to talk about a guild making method that doesn't require any form of crafting, gathering or market board knowledge. Just that you progress through main scenario quests and don't use the gear boxes that some quests grant you as a reward. But first let me explain why. When I started into Endwalker MSQ, I was looking back to a whole set of item level 530 Shadowbringers and game gear. And I was actually kinda reserved when it comes to looting reward boxes from main scenario quests, especially those containing item level 515 or basically anything below 545. Because not being melded and possibly lacking the stats that my job benefits the most from, I just kept going and didn't open up any chest at all and I'm super glad that I didn't. Because just yesterday we figured out on stream that there are certain tricks and ways to increase the value of these boxes significantly. Namely by just making wise decisions which job you should take to open these up with. Because they are not linked to the job you are doing the quest with, but to the job that you actively have when opening them up. And the best thing here, as long as you have unlocked the job crystal, the level doesn't matter. For example, you can open up level 88 boxes with a level 80 character and still get the level 88 item for the job. So with that knowledge you can easily influence to only sell that item granting the highest possible profit on the market board. Which means I made about 3 million gil in one day and that took me quite some time to figure out the best value for each item by checking the market board with each individual role or job, but for you it will be much easier because I made a spreadsheet that should naturally work for you as well. Even if prices may differ on different realms, there is a reason why some of these are higher priced than others. Yes, at first I believe the overall distribution of players playing different jobs will balance out the prices and reduce them, because demand might not be there, because those armor pieces and weapons are actually not good, especially compared to your artifact job gear already received on level 89. Yes, this time I checked it's the right order, sorry for the German twist in my gear companion. But due to the fact that I figured out, nearly all reaper gear and weapons were super low priced. But that wasn't true for all pieces, and while playing this logic it should actually be the case. So this means there must be another need for these items and namely these are crafter leaf quests. Taking the first blacksmith leaf quest as an example which demands high durium tethlums, a dancer weapon, which can be crafted for sure, but some people are just lazy as I am and will buy these weapons from the market board, just to be fast in their blacksmith leveling process. So for a good while now it is guaranteed that these dancer level 80 weapons also received from the level 80 weapon coffer won't drop in prices and you can easily sell these for a solid profit. And when looking at the other weapons at that level, there's a vast price difference for this exact reason. Of course, this can be applied to other factors like glamour value or certain leveling steps where you just want that freaking weapon upgrade or whatever it may be. So if you want the best value out of each coffer, check the market board with different jobs that you already unlocked and can switch to and open the specific coffer where you found high prices on, with the job you searched for it. And if you're lazy, just ignore the task behind it and use my spreadsheet found in the description. Which should still grant you a solid advantage over just opening them up with your main job or one job alone, because even that I haven't double checked each and every reason for some high prices, these reasons might apply on your realm too. So go for it, keep these coffers during your MSQ progress and make a solid coin for getting started into the big businesses in Endwalker. That of course I will inform you about while I'm trying to return to my 1 billion gil again. So stick around, use that spreadsheet and have a wealthy and healthy weekend. Until next time, stay safe, stay in queue and keep loving Final Fantasy.